you may be modding a game that has these things called plugins, and these plugins are supposed to be sorted in something known as a load order. But what on earth do these terms mean, and how do you use Nexus Mod Manager to sort them out? Certain games, such as the Elder Scrolls series and the Fallout series from Bethesda, have these files called plugins, and they are treated a little differently. This video is going to discuss those files and how on earth you, you know, set them up, but please understand, this video is very, very focused on those games. If you've no interest in any of those games, the chances are this video is just not something you are going to need to actually watch, at least not at this point. A good example of this would be The Witcher 3. This does not have plugins at all, and therefore you will not even find a plugins tab on Nexus Mod Manager when using it for that game. But with that in mind, let's talk about plugins. If you open Nexus Mod Manager and choose a game that has plugins, a game such as Skyrim, you will receive another tab next to the Mods tab called Plugins. Unsurprisingly, this is where you will find the plugins that have been installed for this game. Now, even without any mods installed, Skyrim has some plugins. It has a plugin for the main game, which is Skyrim and update.esm. It has one plugin for each of the DLCs that I have, and it has three plugins for the high res texture pack. These are called the vanilla plugins. These are the ones that come with the game, even when you have no mods installed. But this list of plugins will almost certainly grow if you're going to mod a game such as Skyrim. Because although some mods do have just textures or just models, the vast majority of mods out there come with at least one plugin file. And when you install a mod, I'm going to choose Footprints and install it. If I then go back to plugins, you will see it has installed the footprints. ESP file. And if you open the Skyrim launcher and go to data files, you'll find footprints is down there at the bottom as well. Some mods will actually install more than one plugin. So Realistic Water 2, for example, which comes with a scripted installer. If I select what I need for this, and I'm going to go for those. And then I go to plugins, you can see it's installed four plugin files. I am going to drag this off a little bit so I get slightly more of the name showing. As you can see, I've got one main ESP, the Realistic Water 2. I have one for the Legendary Edition, one that adds waves to Dawn Guard, and one that adds waves. These plugins need to be selected, they need to be checked to be loaded into game. So for example, if I deselect footprints, that will not be loaded when I start Skyrim. And for some mods, this has the same effect as disabling it, but for some other mods, it doesn't. Some other mods come with more than just plugins, and those files might not be disabled just by you disabling the plugin. They might, they might not. And that is way out of scope for this video for me to tell you which do and which do not. You have to check up. As a general rule, if you want to disable a mod, it is a far better idea to go along to the Mods tab and disable it here. Nexus Mod Manager also gives you the option to disable all of the active plugins by clicking this icon here and to enable them all by clicking this one here. You probably noticed Skyrim.esm and Update.esm were not deselected. That is because they are required by the game. The game will force those to load anyway. If you click on one of these plugins with the left mouse button, on the right hand side you will see some information appear. This will tell you which mod the plugin belongs to, who the author is, a brief description, if these are available. It will also show you the files which this plugin considers to be masters. 
These are the files that our selected plugin requires, as in it needs these to have been loaded before it gets loaded. And whilst all of these particular files happen to be vanilla game files, it is possible, if I select this one, for a plugin to require a plugin that has come from a mod, in this case, Realistic Water 2, so it's from the same mod, but occasionally you will actually find mods that have plugins that require files from other mods. They are dependent upon that other mod. The most important thing you need to understand is that the game will try to load these files when it finds this one, and if any of them are missing, it will crash. So, it is very important that all of these files be present where the game is expecting them to be. You can also move these files around. For example, if I left click and hold on the footprints.esp and drag down to the bottom, I have moved the footprints.esp file to the bottom of this list. I have moved it to the bottom of the load order. That's what we call this, the order in which all of these files are loaded by the game. This file will now be loaded last. If you don't want to drag and drop files, you can just select them and use these arrows here to move them up and down. It works pretty much the same way. Load order is a very important concept to understand, and it's one of the things that you're going to be playing around with an awful lot if you mod a game such as Skyrim. For more details about this subject, I actually created a video devoted to load order, and I highly recommend, if you don't understand this concept, going and watching that. You do need to understand what your load order is and how you should maintain it. It is critically important. Nexus Mod Manager will help you out a little with your load order. For example, the Realistic Water 2 legendary ESP file has a Realistic Water 2 as a master file, and it will actually prevent me from dragging that file below this one, because it requires this one to be loaded first. Newer games such as Skyrim actually prevent that from being a problem by forcing the game to load any required masters if it finds them in the data folder. However, it's a bad habit to get into, so it's very nice that Nexus Mod Manager prevents you from doing this. You should make sure your load order looks right. It is set in the right order manually. Don't rely on the game to do it for you, especially since some of the older games do not do it. Make sure you have fixed your load order correctly yourself. Luckily, there is a tool that actually helps us fix our load order, and this tool is called Loot, which I already have installed. And it opens up a very, very simple window like so, where I can change the game. I'm going to change it to Test 5 Skyrim, and then allows me to sort the plugins. I'm not going to go into great detail regarding that tool either because I also have a video devoted to that. And if you are interested in having a tool that helps you do this, and you probably are, trust me, it will save you some time, uh, you should go off and watch that video. However, allow me to reiterate something I state in that video. Just because you have a tool that helps you fix your load order does not mean you do not have to understand how to fix it yourself. This is a critically important subject. You need to be able to fix this yourself. You need to be able to track down problems you might be having. You need to be able to tweak the load order if loot didn't do the perfect job for you. This is the most important subject when it comes to modding. Uh, the games like Skyrim, Fallout 3, the Bethesda games that rely on a load order of plugins. However, as long as you understand that, I highly recommend installing Loot. And you should know that Nexus Mod Manager allows you to run this tool from its toolbar. I can actually launch Loot straight from there, which is very useful indeed. If for some reason Nexus Mod Manager has not detected it for you, mine detected it automatically when I installed Loot. If it doesn't, go along to Settings, Supported Tools, and select the directory where Loot is installed. Simply click on this and select the folder you installed Loot to, and it should run perfectly. And indeed, I'm just going to run it quickly now and see what it does.
Uh, it's telling me it wants footprints ESP above realistic water, which is fine. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to close this down and loot, and you'll see footprints has been moved back. Even if you don't install loot, Nexus Mod Manager gives you access to a similar feature. If you go along to Tools and find Automatic Plugin Sorting, I will show you that in action by moving this file above the Realistic Water 2.esp and then clicking Automatic Plugin Sorting. Give it a few seconds to do its thing. And after a few seconds, there you go, it's moved the file back down. This feature actually uses the Loot API, so the order is pretty much the same as if I'd used Loot. However, you don't get the little report and you have no control. You can't set up your own rules, so it is not as powerful. It is something that could be useful and obviously is a little faster to access, but as a general recommendation, I would suggest installing the full version of Loot, learning how to use that tool, checking the report before you allow it to manipulate your load order, and just taking a little control for yourself. One other minor but quite useful little feature that Nexus Mod Manager has is an option to import and export your load order. So for example, I can just click on export to either the clipboard or a text file if I want. I'm going to do it to a text file and I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm then going to right click and edit with notepad plus plus and there you go. It shows my load order. The equals one means it was selected. Now I can actually move my load order around a little. Let's let's mess it up a little bit. Oh, it won't let me do that. Let's mess it up a little bit. I can also import the load order. If I click import from a text file, select the load order file I just created, and it will reorder my load order to what it was before. Obviously, this can be used as a backup method. Perhaps you want to use it before running loot in case loot does something that you didn't like but it can also be used as a way to give someone else your load order. Perhaps they want to use the same load order as you, or perhaps they're going to help you track down a problem. And that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. The next part of this series will be discussing profiles, a powerful feature that you will possibly use more and more as you begin to use more and more mods. The profile feature will actually allow you to set up different collections of mods so that you can have different mods for different playthroughs or perhaps just different mods for different situations in a single playthrough. Uh, it's completely up to you. It is very, very powerful indeed. So if you're interested in that, feel free to join me for that video. I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember, as always, have fun.